This is really a, a, a fantastic era for all of us involved in uh, treating hematologic malignancies uh, with or without transplantation. Uh, obviously, it can take hours and hours to go through all of the advances we have seen over the last uh, uh, few years. However, if uh, I want to give a general picture about what's ongoing uh, in this space, I would say that now uh, cellular therapies, especially CAR T cells, but now we are seeing also other cellular therapies uh, uh, beside CAR T cells are really making a, a huge difference in the life of many patients with relapse refractory diseases. And uh, uh, we've seen that in lymphoma, for instance, high-grade lymphoma, uh, these uh, uh, CAR T cells are definitely challenging uh, the use of uh, autologous uh, stem cell transplantation. So clearly, this is one key advance. Uh, the other key advance is the uh, introduction of uh, bispecific antibodies, antibody drug conjugates, whether in ALL, but also in AML. And these agents are proving to be highly effective and useful not only uh, before transplant, but maybe after transplant, as we see in ALL, for instance, in the use of bispecific antibodies. Uh, another uh, huge advance, uh, which is just starting now, is the uh, modulation of the microbiota. Uh, and I think this is a new frontier in medicine, but also in hematology and cancer in general. The capacity to modify uh, the richness and the diversity of the uh, microbiota in these patients is uh, likely to allow uh, to improve their outcome. Uh, and actually, it can synergize to further improve the efficacy of the well-established treatments today, like conventional chemotherapies, but also uh, cellular therapies and immune uh, therapies. So in general, I think the future looks uh, very bright uh, when it comes uh, to these advances in hematology. And uh, uh, I think uh, uh, the pace of progress is really, really accelerating.